the 2011 Field Hockey Championship looked much like the 2010 version as Randolph-Macon traveled to Lynchburg to face the Hornets for the ODAC title. Randolph-Macon goalkeeper Nicole Woodworth was busy making 16 saves against 36 total shots, and Lynchburg broke through in the ninth minute when Christina Morris found Kelly Williams with a shot who put it in the left side of the goal. Lynchburg would go on to score seven goals in the contest to win the ODAC title and earn the ODAC's automatic bid in the NCAA tournament. Here it was Christina Morris poking one back in off a defensive save from Randolph-Macon. Lynchburg head coach Enza Steele talked about the team's path in 2011. Well, um, we started off the season not knowing what to expect, and uh, we kind of had to make some uh, significant changes uh, our second game of the season. Uh, they worked really well for us, and um, we never looked back, you know, and every game we wanted to increase our intensity, increase our, you know, uh, speed, and in the process we always focused on our uh, stick work, and I think that really shows we're able to um, uh, eliminate a lot of our opponents with um, really good stick work. Talk about um, the team in general, because you didn't, you didn't allow a goal uh, in the ODAC tournament, certainly probably few during the season. What's the strength? Is it a combination of offense, defense, or one or the other that really plays to your advantage? Well, um, the defense has to get the ball to the attack. But uh, I think our defense felt very confident that if they could put the ball into a scoring position that we had multiple people that could score. Um, so that, that's our thought, our process, get the ball into a scoring position. You think about uh, the next step. Obviously, you've had some success against some teams that are, that are ranked up in the polls uh, in the field hockey, Division Three field hockey world. What are your... What are your thoughts moving on to Nationals with the automatic bid out of the ODAC? Well, uh, you know, I think we play as a complete unit. Um, so it's uh, we're successful. If a team tries to uh, stop us in one area, then we counter in another area. Um, so I think being a, a complete team from player 1 to player 11, uh, we make it very difficult for our opponents. The 2011 ODAC Women's Soccer Championship featured Virginia Wesleyan College at Lynchburg College, marking the third time in the last four years the two squads have played for the conference hardware. Neither team wanted to give ground in the early going, but it was Lynchburg that commanded most of the offensive action, outshooting Virginia Wesleyan 23-2. They were especially effective on set pieces as Angela Bosco had her header saved by Erica Kyle off a corner, and then it was Rachel Sadowski putting hers over later in the half. Brittany Klipstein, the ODAC Player of the Year, would score the game's only goal in the 35th minute from 25 yards out, giving the Hornets their 10th ODAC title and securing an automatic bid in the NCAA tournament. Head coach Dr. Todd Olson talked about playing Virginia Wesleyan. Well, you know, anytime you play Virginia Wesleyan, they're just a fantastic team, and, and every year it's just an epic battle. I don't know what else to say, and today was another example. And, you know, we played really well. Our, our team was ready to play, and, and I thought we did a great job. And, again, I just give a lot of kudos to Virginia Wesleyan for their season and, and how hard they fought. They just they never stopped, so it was a nerve-wracking game. So. When you talk about the top of the league, you know, and, and, and as you develop into the tournament, you know, those, those same teams seem to reappear in the semifinals and the finals. How difficult is it to make it through the way you have this year and then obviously looking forward to nationals and what's on your plate? Yeah, I mean, I think our conference is, is fantastic because it prepares us for this tournament. I mean, I, we're not going to play. I mean, to have to play Virginia Wesleyan twice in about two weeks, is just there's, there can't be anything harder than that with the, just the rivalry there and the, and the level of competition. So when we go to the NCAA tournament, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's, it's not going to be any harder than what we just experienced to, get, to win this tournament. And that's the case every year. I mean, to get through Washington Lee and the Roanokes and the Virginia Wesleyans, and now Bridgewater is getting back up there, getting strong. And it, it's very, very awesome conference. And, and I think, you know, I think we're going to get several teams in, and, and we're all going to show very well and represent the ODAC conference in a, in a terrific way. It was a crosstown rivalry at the 2011 ODAC Men's Soccer Championship as Randolph College hosted Lynchburg College on Saturday night. And the 2010 National Runners Up got on the board first when Zach Russ converted a spot kick in the 24th minute for a 1 0 lead that would maintain through halftime. The corner kick would play a big role for Randolph in the second half as Nick Cornell's shot was saved off the line by the Lynchburg defense. Cornell would later hook up with Will Adams on a header that tied the game in the 68th minute. But here it's Joe Sky off, another corner kick for Randolph as he sent a blistering shot at the Lynchburg net. But it was Michael Relford that came up with a big save for the Hornets. In the 83rd minute with a score tied 1-1, it was time for Will Wolf to play Wildcat Hero as he redirected Cornell's corner kick into the net for a 2-1 lead 
an eventual 2-1 victory and a first ODAC title for Randolph. Head coach Brian Wagner talked about his team coming back from one goal down. Um, well, it's been our kind of our MO through the playoffs. Um, this team's won six overtime games this year, which I've, I've never heard of a team winning that many overtime games in a season. Uh, I looked into my guys' eyes at halftime, and they all believe that, hey, one nothing's nothing for us. We've been here before. We can do this. We're on our home field. And I think the entire second half, it showed the guys had the belief they could get a goal. And, you know, they're playing last year's national runners-up, and they believed, hey, we can go get two goals. Uh, and it's a testament to them and their heart and their desire and their belief in each other. What does this mean for the school from a male athletic program, you know, getting that first ODAC championship under your belt? And uh, In your words, what does this mean? Uh, I think it means a lot um, for everything we've been through. Uh, we've had some, some difficult times. Um, a lot of stuff in the newspaper written about us, not, not always good things, but this is obviously a very positive thing. And I, and I think uh, just being the NCAA tournament is going to, a lot of people are going to see the name Randolph on that NCAA tournament. They're going to be like, Where, where's that at? Uh, and it's going to give us a lot more publicity, which the school deserves. Uh, I think it also will show this school's not just uh, academics, it's got a great academic rotation, but it, for athletics and extracurricular and art and music, uh, the school's got the best of everything. And uh, I think student, students and student athletes apart are going to see that. And, and uh, big things are going to happen for us. The ODAC Volleyball Championship featured Randolph Macon and Washington Lee playing for the conference trophy for the second straight year. And it took extra points to decide the first two games, with Randolph Macon taking a 1-0 lead on a 26-24 win, thanks in part to one of seven kills by Mallory James. The second game belonged to Washington Lee, as Lindsey D helped them with one of her nine kills to a 26-24 Generals win. After watching Washington Lee go out to a big lead in the third game, Randolph Macon stormed back to take a 2-1 lead behind Mallory Carter going into the fourth frame. The score remained tight early on in the fourth set, but Randolph Macon began to pull away with some good attacking with Hillary Jesse using the block for one kill, and then it was Jessica Sears using power going across court, helping the Yellow Jackets to a four-point lead late in the fourth frame. WNL attempted to cut into its deficit when Cameron Hill picked up this attack attempt by Sears, and M.A. Bowles was able to fit her swing in between a couple blockers for one of her 17 kills, but Randolph Macon proved too much as Carter's game-high 21st winner proved the ODAC title clincher for Randolph Macon, giving them three ODAC titles in the program history and their third straight conference crown. The Yellow Jackets enter NCAA tournament play at Christopher Newport University for the second straight year for regional action. They open with Johns Hopkins University on Friday.